G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. This is the uh, install on real hardware of Arch Labs KDE Plasma. So we'll just have a quick look around at um, what was installed. Now, what I have done here is I've, um, in the system settings, I've just changed the light theme to the dark theme. So I've gone from breeze to breeze dark <clears throat> and also in the in the plasma style I've gone from breeze light to breeze dark so that's the only change I've made there it just looks a little bit better on the eyes so first of all we'll just check the applications that I did um, on the virtual box and then the real hardware which I mirrored the same thing has installed so in here we've got GIMP LibreOffice Draw and the document scanner or document viewer there which is events Internet Firefox, Qubit Torrent, Thunderbird, Multimedia, MPV Player, Simple Screen Recorder, which I'm using to record this video, and VLC. And then you've got the Office Document Viewer again, and the LibreOffice Suite. And let's just check out um, which version the LibreOffice is. So help and about LibreOffice 6.4.1.2 being on Arch it should be probably the most latest version I would say now in um, KDE Plasma you have the Discover so you can install applications through Discover and also update your system so there's no application backends found please report to your distribution all right, so we may, it looks like we need to get the back ends done. So it looks like for that, we're going to need, actually, I'm just going to search for now, Pac-Man dash capital S little s. I think we need package kit. So let's search for that. Package kit QT5, GNOME package kit, GNOME software, package kit, package kit. Well, we are on QT, aren't we? So it'd have to be that one, I think. So let's go sudo pacman dash capital S package kits dash QT5. Let's try that and see what happens. So that was just a quick little um, Google search there to find out what was needed. Package kits seem to be the one recommended. Um, what else did that install? Package kit. Yeah, so it installed package kit and package kit QT5. So let's just open up Discover again and see what happens there. Now Discover looks like it's working. Applications. And there we go. Uh, multimedia. That's full screen that multimedia and graphics so that's working quite well and we've got some updates there as well I see so that's your discover support um, to update um, Arch Labs you would be sudo pacman SYU I believe it is for updates starting full system upgrade um, yep let's do that Okay, so that's the um, update complete. And I would probably suggest that's the best way to update your system if you're on an Arch base rather than use Discover um, because that's normally the recommended way of updating your system. So quickly what we want to do is um, just to bring you up to speed on bringing this computer up to um, a multimedia level whereas we can play a disc we can play music or rip music. Um, let's just check some of those things out. And there's a very good reason why I install VLC because it does have some extra codecs and things that's needed. So what I'm going to do here is put in a DVD and see if it plays, and I doubt whether it will play. It'll probably just have a hissy fit and sit there and scream and yell and do all sorts of things in the uh, DVD player. <laughs> 
There we go. It'll probably just do that for ages. It's not happy. Okay, so now you can see the time. It's uh, eight minutes past nine, and that thing's just been making bizarre noises and doing all sorts of things and having a bit of a hissy fit for a couple of minutes and nothing is happening. So what we're going to do there is we're going to install some support for that. So sudo pacman dash capital S. I just arrowed up for that last command. So we need to install lame space lib mpeg2 xvidcore x264 and the most important lib dvd css and while i'm at it i'm going to install a sonder which is a cd ripper so let's install those enter for yes so lame and lib mpeg2 um, xvid core uh, they were all reinstalling so the only one that's really installed was lib dvd css and Asunder. So the other ones must have been installed already. So that's interesting. Probably because MP3 is no longer proprietary, is it? I don't think. So now what I'm going to do is put that DVD back in. See what happens. Now I don't know if I need a log, a log out or not. Hopefully I don't. So the disk hasn't made too much of a noise at all. It sounds like it's reading quite normally, which is good. Okay, so it looks like the disk has mounted. Collateral damage, you can see that there. So we'll open up. Um, I don't know if it'll work in MPV player. I think that's too much of a simple player to do that. Yeah, you've got to drop your files in there. So what we'll do... Oh, actually, I don't know if we can right-click on it. Let's just have a quick look. No, we can't right-click or anything. So that's all right. VLC media player media open disk and your disk is normally dev-sr0 which is what it's found already that's click play so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a reboot because it seems as though nothing is really working for that at this point in time so let's just pause this and I'll be back So here we are back in the system after a reboot. I'm going to put this uh, DVD back in, see what happens. It's a bit of an old computer, so it does take a while for this DVD to show up. The name of the game is Patience. Okay, so now you can see that the uh, disc has mounted after many, 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 many tries. <laughs> I don't know. I think there must be something wrong with the DVD player in this laptop. It took a long time to mount. And let's have a look. Um, it's now mounted. Collateral damage. So let's open up a VLC. I don't think it's anything to do with Arch Labs or anything like that. I think it's just this DVD player. And there we have um, collateral damage, play movie. And as you can see, the movie is playing. Uh, probably with sound. Yep, with sound. So that is that complete. So I won't go too far into the movie there. So that is a DVD playable. Let's eject that. So eject that from up here I think is better uh, right click and eject now I'm going to put in a audio CD and we're going to have a look at a sunder and rip a CD into the computer I'm not going to actually rip the CD just as long as it shows up all's good so I'm not sure if that's mounted yet or not doesn't look like it there it is now we get our notification that it's mounted and then we can go to Asunder, CD Ripper. It's just checking the disk info there. And there we go. Taxi Ride and Preferences. 
So OGG functionality is disabled. Um, not sure what's going on there. In code, we can use MP3. Normally that byte rate is, the, is okay to use. You've got all these other ones. Obviously OGG is disabled at the moment. Never used that one, so that doesn't sort of affect me too much. And if I hit rip, then it starts ripping. So as you can see, that's working. And uh, I probably should have, let's cancel that. Um, and the destination folder, you can change to other and obviously music. And that'll go directly to your music. Otherwise, it would have been in my home folder. Taxi ride that's made the fold already. Let's just delete that, move to trash, and that's done. So that is multimedia set up there on an arch based system, all working well. The reason I use that collateral damage DVD is because that is quite a difficult DVD that I've noticed in the past to get going and to actually be read. So that might be part of that problem as well. So that's why I use that DVD as an example, because uh, I honestly believe if you can get that DVD going, there are probably a couple more difficult ones out there, but um, as far as I know, the one in my possession, or you know, a lot of DVDs I've got, that one is one of the most difficult. So now the, for the last thing, we're going to install Yay, just in case you need anything that's not in the Pac-Man repositories, you can install through the Arch user repositories, which is Yay. So let's install yay. So first of all, we need to install git. Uh, so let's just arrow up to our last command and uh, git password. Enter for yes. Let's clear that. I need to remember to clear the screen for the viewers. So now we need to git clone HTTPS forward slash uh, semicolon forward slash forward slash aur dot arch linux dot org forward slash yay dot git enter that and then we cd into yay that we just downloaded and then we make pkg space dash si and yes so uh, y is the bigger letter which is it's the capital letter so that's yes by default so press enter proceed with installation yes and that's yay installed so let's clear that screen and let's have a look so now in theory if we yay dash capital s little s and we search for something in yay uh, let's just say google I don't know, is Google in, in the Arch user repository? I don't know. Hmm, very hard to find, it's a lot of stuff there. Let's try another one. Um, Google dash Chrome, maybe a more accurate search. Google Chrome, the most trusted web browser. That's the bottom one there, so there we go. Google Chrome is there. So yay is working, no problem. Um, probably have Etcher in there too, I think, in yay. Let's have a look. Might even be in the repositories. Etcher, Belina Etcher down the bottom there, Belina Etcher, so that's in there as well. So that's pretty handy. So there we have Yay installed, multimedia working. Now, um, in Linux, it, you just never give up. I knew that I would installed the correct amount of um, codecs to get the DVD player going. And I tried about 10 times take, uh, taking it out and putting it in. Never ever give up in Linux. <laughs> it's just one of those things I gave the disk a clean. It sounded like it was going to mount and it didn't mount. So I just tried a few times. I think the DVD player is probably just getting old. So that should be all you need to get yourself up and running on Arch Labs or even an Arch based system. And uh, that should uh, be good enough for any average user to be able to do their multimedia, watch the DVDs, YouTube, email, and so forth. Um, there's no, I don't think, did we put an email in here? Yes, we did, didn't we? We put in um, Thunderbird. Yes, we did. So there you go. So that is the post-install of Arch Labs with the KDE Plasma desktop. 
post install and setup. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it interesting and informative, and thanks for watching.